Bam. Greet you the words of Salaam Alaikum, which means peace and blessings be upon you. And I mention both Jesus and Muhammad's names because they were both messages of truth and reality. Peace be upon them both. And I want everybody to know that Islam is coming your way. Not with war, but with peace. I want to introduce my new co hosts. I'm going to have them introduce themselves in the ones and. Uh, Give him my salam alaikum and shalom. Alaikum my salam. Okay, and I'm going to have them introduce themselves. They giants. <laughs> Moving right along with uh, the butt naked truth, I'm going to try to get time when Mr. and Miss Warren can come on the radio show for a few minutes with me and we can spread some knowledge because I like to gather the people with power and the unity in the community. Together we stand, divided we fall. They pay attention to you when you talk about unity or nation talk because they want you to speak individually. But we all here as a group, we all here as a family. Family is only father and mother, I love you, so it's abbreviated. I'm gonna move on to the next co-host that we're favored by. Thank you so much, Clifton, for having me and my husband on your show. My name is Penny Warren. I'm co-founder of The Power Latent Man, that we have a cable show on every Wednesday, 8.30, 30 p.m. that re-airs on Thursday, um, 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. I'm Dr. Warren. And I'm, I'm the founder of Plim the Power Late the Man. My wife Laura gave you the time. We also have a website called Plim 2.org. Uh, you can find it on the internet. And uh, we have free, lec free lectures at uh, 1100 East 55th Street in room uh, uh, 208 there at the Lutheran School of Theology. Okay, you know what we're going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the Federal Reserve and the Rothschilds. But first, there were people that tried to warn us about the Federal Reserve, and I think Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln tried to warn the people about the Federal Reserve and the power that they have. Can y'all expand on that? Yeah, the Federal Order, I think 0007. I may be saying it wrong, though. But can y'all expand on that, the Federal Reserve? And, Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln trying to warn us about it. Well, the people should look at you. If you got a dollar bill, any type of bill in your pocket, look at it. It says Federal Reserve Note. That's a private bank separate from the United States. It's like a Federal Reserve, uh, FedEx. FedEx is not part of the federal government. The federal Reserve uh, uh, Bank is a private bank mm -hmm. that creates the money for this country. In other words, the Treasury, the U.S. Treasury does not create money. And when they want to borrow money, they got to go to the Federal Reserve. So it's a private bank. Okay. And that bank was set up in Europe, as, it, as many banks around the world, it was set up by the Rothschilds family, where they would just borrow money from a private bank and they could charge interest. So every, every dollar that's, in the, is that, that's been in, in circulation, it's interest being charged on it. Whereas if it came from the Federal Reserve, I mean from the U.S. Treasury, it is not debt-based. In other words, it's money that's created and for us to buy and sell and have mm. commerce with each other. But when you have a private bank set up, a private bank makes money, it makes interest. So you're wondering why things have changed in the world. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a war born baby. Mm -hmm. See, I remember when, 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 when where did the penny candy go? Mm -hmm. You know, you remember the mm -hmm. penny candy? Most yes, people that, that, that's millennial, mm -hmm. we don't know what about penny candy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember in 1970, you could buy a, a, uh, uh, a Mustang for $2,700. Mm -hmm. and, my, and my grandmother, she bought a flat on the west side of Lawndale for mm -hmm. $1,700. That same damn building mm -hmm. cost all, all, all 170 but it happened to be the black neighborhood. It was in a white neighborhood. It would probably be worth two fifty dollars or $300,000. Mm -hmm. Now, what's done happened? The building hasn't changed. It's just the damn money has depreciated and been valued, and you're wondering why you can't make it because the money <laughs> is worthless. Mm -hmm. you got to find out about the people that own and control the money in this country. You mm -hmm. Red Ross is going to direct question now. Yes, sir. You, uh, I noticed they had uh, the banking cartel. What do they call those groups in Mexico that sell drugs? They call them the, uh, they don't call them the drug cartel. <laughs> right. I was just using the cartel part, Mr. Warren, because I want you to, to bring it in because it's all cartels and they control things. That's right. And it connects with what you're saying about the privacy of the banks. How about what the penitentiaries are now? Aren't they private? They are privately owned. And that was put up by, for hello, most of you people don't know. Clintons. That was the Clintons <laughs> along with the Republicans that decided to have bank, I mean, the penitentiary. You can look it up on the internet. Uh, these uh, they're private prisoners, 
private prisoners where they sell stock on the New York Stock Exchange, hmm. and the prisoners are put in the bank. The prisoners are put in, put in that prison, mm -hmm. and, and they made an agreement with the governor, the very governor of the state. Listen, you got to keep this prison full, 80 and 90 percent right. full. Mm -hmm. That's just right. Like, just like if you got a hotel, you got to have 80 and 90 percent to make profit in the hotel. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So what's happening is that and they say, wait a minute, well, we're going to grab all these <laughs> Negroes. Whatever they do, <laughs> that's that's what they do, we're going to right. the jail. See it. And, and th as a result, they <laughs> working cheap. That's right. Making products. For these private uh, 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 prisons, yes, sir. You know, parachutes, uh, the camouflage uh, uh, that, that you see, the, the, the uh, army where all that stuff is done a lot of times and by mm -hmm. private uh, uh, prisons right. that have been set up to uh, uh, manufacture products cheap, so that they know what they're doing, and people have no intent. They, they, they've been so dumbed down. They said. Why is here in Chicago? It's very unusual. <laughs> they had to turn loose all these black boys mm -hmm. yes, sir. that were being convicted. They found out oh, they, it was all wrong. It wasn't wrong. Mm -hmm. They need to pack them prisons That's right. full of people That's right. so that they could work, so that the, uh, the, 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 the prisons could make money selling them that, these, that labor to, to corporations. Yes, sir. And as a result, they would make money. Mm -hmm. they, the, the guy that, that was in prison, he wasn't making but like 50 cents a day, if that. Just That's right. Just looking at commissary. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you wondering why, why is they put all the people in jail? I don't understand. I said, well, that's very unusual. There's no way in the hell you could have a justice system running where you put that many innocent people. You, I could see a few people making error, but damn, everybody, everybody is in prison for, for stuff that they didn't commit. Right. It's it's a business. Right. They and call they, that. they call clients, Mister Warren. They were called clients, exactly. Yeah, and that's how they undercover what they're doing with the scourge of it. Because I had a life sentence, so I know what you're talking about. But we'll find another show to talk about that on. But I had a life sentence. I'd done nine and a half years off of. They gave me twelve cents an hour to work to do the mopping <laughs> and fifty cents an hour to work in Unicord that makes the helicopters and the and the computer blades. That's it. And then I get out here and can't get get a job with my background. My resume don't work. That's exactly right. That's how they do it. What people don't understand, it's a system that has gone amok and, and That's you, have right. a, you, have, you have evil people, Luciferians that have taken over the system. It's like you, you, your body <laughs> can get a germ or AIDS, HIV, and take over the body. Well, That's right. they have taken over the financial system, the insurance, the banking, the finance, and they have run amok. Yes, and the sir. people are running around fighting with one another. You nigga, you a honky, and this, <laughs> and they yeah. stole the whole damn show, man. Right. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, Miss Warren. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dr. Lee Warren, Miss Warren. I, you know what I like to ask you is, how come the people are being led around by sheep, getting in credit, get, you know, getting them more debt and more mm -hmm. debt and debt, and they actually being led by sh like sheep, mm. and they're being enslaved. Right, because the There's whole system. There's gold in the bank, and you know what? They're constantly balling against the gold. It's a book this brother gave me. I appreciate it. And how come the people? I'm being led like sheep, and they don't realize that there's a group of people that are running the world no matter who the president is. Yeah, they don't understand that the system is debt-based. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can't yeah. create money without creating debt. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, there's a lot of people, they, they had a, a show um, about four families that mm -hmm. went bankrupt in two, 2008, you mm -hmm. know, with all the, um, the uh, uh, real estate stuff. Mm -hmm. So all these people were, you know, telling their stories about how they got into the situations. And one lady was taking care of her mother and mm. somebody else, you know, a real estate appraiser mm -hmm. couldn't find a job. He had eight kids. Mm -hmm. A black lady, you know, was working in the school system. Someone else was a plumber or a cement person. Anyway, the whole point is nobody told those people, why don't you just declare bankruptcy? Right. Mm. You know, why are you just struggling so <laughs> to try to keep... All this, you know, because they, they were trying to get, you mm -hmm. know, keep their credit scores, mm -hmm. you know, a certain President level. Trump and they were done it, I don't know how many times, but go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's right. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. 125 you know, bankruptcy. Right, when you look at Trump, that's, you know, that has uh, you know, declared bankruptcy. Yes, man. Over and over again. But they don't get the same bankruptcy as regular people do. Right. Not the chapter 7s, not the chapter 13. Right. You get the chapter 11. Right. That's for rich people. Right. <laughs> that's when rich people keep all their assets right. and just their business goes right. bankrupt. Yeah. You know, so. So the whole system is based on debt mm -hmm. and you know if you don't have the debt um if, and our debt keeps increasing and we have this thing called derivatives maybe my husband could go a little bit into, into those 
<laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, because he, because his study and research of the system brings him to that knowledge. Because when we was coming up, when I left Mississippi in 1957, I was raised up on never owe nobody. Mm. Right. Now, if you don't owe anybody, you don't get anything. Mm -hmm. I say, well, that's in reverse. Was my grandmother and mother wrong? No, they were right. I'm brought up in the wrong world. So it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's uh, we 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 sincere people in an insincere world. So Dr. Warren to give you a little more edu 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 education okay, on that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you want to tell them about derivatives? Well, 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 what okay. happened is that everything is is a, is a gambling casino, Las Vegas. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. See, everything is a Las Vegas gambling. What it is is that they have taken so many things. Let me go back to real estate. What they did is they got everybody together. So they gave everybody a loan. Hmm. And some of the loans were just, what can you say about this? See, people, let me say this before I get to that. Hmm. If you've got payday loans, yes, sir. and you take your title down there, yes, don't sir. do the damn thing, just because you're going to get yourself, there are sharks there yes, sir. that will get you in hock, just like sharecropping back in Mississippi when mm -hmm. Negro was out yes, working, <laughs> they would always work for this white man, Mr. Charlie, yes, sir. see in the fields there, yes, sir. and then they would, they would go, come to Mr. Charlie, he would weigh the cotton. He said, well, this paid out half of debt. You ain't, you ain't, out, you ain't almost <laughs> out of debt, but you're really not in the debt, but you gotta go out to work in that field over there. Right. Yes, sir. You can to work and give it to feed you, but you can never get out of debt sharecropping. Well, right. that's the same thing they brought up here north. They want to put everybody in debt, and you yes, can't sir. get out of debt forever, and it puts additional stress on you. So when it comes back to the real estate thing, they, 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 got, they got all these loans together, and then they lied and said it was triple A. All these <laughs> loans that they had, they bundled them together. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, listen, how in the hell can you pay, some of these people were paying 15 to 20% 20, 20 yes. on a mortgage loan. That's, that's a credit card rate. Boy. Right, sir. <laughs> and, then, and, and, and then how in the world are you going to ever pay that off? <laughs> yeah. So they bundled them together, and then they sold us to all the universities and people bought because it was, a loan is only supposed to be four or five, maybe six or seven percent. They were double like 15 to 20 percent. I said, how you paying a loan like this? Yes, sir. And, and, and it got so crazy that yes, what happened when, when people couldn't pay the loan off was the interest rates went back, was jacked up. Yes, sir. They couldn't pay the loan off. Then as a result, the whole damn thing crashed. Yes, now, sir. derivative is, is an investment where you when you go to the bank and you get collateral, they say, you, you, mm -hmm. I want $20,000. Mm -hmm. They say, so, okay, okay. You got twenty thousand dollars. Okay, what you, what you got is collateral. Mm -hmm. You said you got your house. Well, you put your house up for collateral. Well, they bundle all those loans together, and then they they sell them to people, other people that said this, this particular uh, issue bond will pay eight and nine percent. Well, what, what's happening now is that you got a, 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 a people just couldn't pay the loan off, and the whole damn thing crashed when the economy crashed. Mm -hmm. oh. The debt is sky high. Yeah. As a result of the federal government spending more money than you can. The problem is, as a result of that, the, the, the country is in so much debt mm -hmm. because there's always interest paid on the debt and it's compounding. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And as a result, yes, you mm -hmm. never pay off the debt. <laughs> right. So and the, and the country won't. You borrow more money. And the country won't declare a jubilee. And, and, and wait a minute, I got that. Okay. Got the <laughs> so what happens is, the problem is there's no jubilee. The scriptures, you had a jubilee in the children of Israel. Right. But the debt keeps building because yes, if, if you couldn't pay off the debt for this year, then you borrow more to pay off that debt and put <laughs> some more. Okay, you keep well you got well you gotta pay off the debt for the previous year since you didn't pay it off. Yeah. That's interest being compounded on that debt, then you borrow some more money, then that's interest on that debt, and it keeps ball it keeps rolling and rolling. Next thing you know, mm -hmm. the the interest payments are so great now. There's almost greater than the income. That's what people understand about the economy. Mm -hmm. The interest is so great now uh, that, for instance, say we could collect three hundred trillion dollars, uh, 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 say three trillion dollars, mm -hmm. then the interest may be five hundred trillion. I mean, five hundred billion, a half a trillion, and it keeps building until it's a trillion dollars. Well, well, it gets to a point where the interest consumes half of the revenue that the, that, the, that the country has for taxes, so mm -hmm. they, can't, they can't do anything, so they have to declare default or Excuse whatever. Mm -hmm. It gets so crazy, that's mm -hmm. where you are now. So mm -hmm. Trump comes in and he says, I'm gonna cut all this stuff back. <laughs> oh. and, and, and as a result, you got total confusion. Yes, sir. As a result, so what they do, they keep printing money. They keep yes, printing sir. money, they boost the stock market up. They, they keep 
Running a Ponzi scheme, and yes, sir. As a result, yes, sir. You think like it's a Ponzi scheme, it's a big at, the, Ponzi at the high scheme. level, yes, sir. It's a big, if it's a big Ponzi scheme, the, 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 for instance, you take a, a company, they buy their own stock back, yes, sir. So they bid instead stock of putting it into the company, yeah. then. but instead of putting it into the company, they would take their money, the money they earned, they would buy the, they would buy their own stock. Yes, and he said, wait a minute, what you doing? You're not expanding, you're not expanding the company, you're just running the Ponzi scheme. Right. Mm -hmm. the, the executives get a huge amount of money. And yes, sir. Excuse, work and don't get anything. Yes, Excuse sir. me, either one of y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Now I got it. <laughs> the president does not run anything. It's the bankers. <laughs> oh, I got it now. You, <laughs> well, you the, 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 by them being puppet masters, you see bank, gangsters go to jail. Banksters don't. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's I got it. it. It's not. It's you know. You didn't run nothing. <laughs> Trump didn't win. I'm running nothing. No. There he goes. Yeah. Well, you notice that the all, all the real estate, <laughs> all the real estate loans that they came in had predatory loans. Right. All wow. that stuff. Yes, sir. Nobody ever went to jail. No. Uh, uh, for the last 2008, when, yeah, the, no. when everything crashed. That's right. No, none of the bankers went to jail. No, sir. But see, you you park your car out there in the street and get sold. I guarantee you. <laughs> yes, sir. But see, the bankers get well, they when they run this mother. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna change or nothing. Yes, you, sir. Because they, they they the ones that create. <laughs> The money and run the situation. And what make it so <laughs> so make it so delicate what he's saying. When they tried to fool you with Lincoln freeing the slaves and Kennedy liking us, they was talking about messing with that money. That's it. Yes. And you get shot in the head. That's <laughs> right. you yes. oh, okay, I ain't gonna, yeah. we ain't gonna okay. go. for instance, those of us that came here for, let, let us go back here. To 1965, mm. you know, with the silver dime and the bow dollars, you know, yes, sir. Never yes, sir. Dollar. I got them all. Uh, I said, now, <laughs> uh, 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 now, I'm gonna tell you right now, one dime is worth a dollar. If you got a half a dollar, it's worth five dollars. Now, what's the problem? <laughs> a silver dollar is 50 cents. Okay, it's like 1965 and back. You tell me what the what's wrong, what's the what's the do the math. <laughs> a 50 cent silver di a dime or a 50 cent silver dollar will cost you five dollars if you go to a, 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 a silver store, yes, sir. Uh, uh, and it says, I want a half a dollar. It's 50 cents. Well, why gotta pay five? Because the damn money is not worth anything. Mm -hmm. That's right. Five dollars times 50 cents? Yes, sir. Was, worth nothing, that's, man. That's yeah. 10 times. That means your money has, de your, your, your has money, depreciated. Your money has depreciated yes, 10 times. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know what? It was, I just, y'all explained. Now I understand. They understand.